Hello and welcome to this Excel Tips video. I'm Sumit Bansal and in this video, I'm going to show you some really simple ways to combine the first and the last name in Excel. Now, this is something that many people have to do on a daily basis and there are multiple ways to do this. And in this video, I'm going to show you four easy methods to do this. So let's get started. Here I have the first name in column A and last name in column B and I want to combine and get the full name in column C and I'll show you two really simple formulas to do this. So you can use the concat function. Now Excel also has the concatenate function which is something that they may retire in some time in future. So it is better to use the concat function if you have it otherwise use concatenate. Now in concat you'll have to first give the text string the first name here then I would put the space character which is what I want between the first and the last name. So I would put a space character within double quotes and then I would use the last name. And now when I hit enter, it gives me the full name and I can copy it for all these cells. Another really easy method that you can use instead of concatenate is using the ampersand operator. And what an ampersand does is it combines any text string before and after it. So in this case, if I want to combine the first and the last name, I would first have a2 which is the first name then ampersand then space character in double quotes because I want this within the names and the last name here. So it is going to combine all these text strings and now when I hit enter it gives me the full name. So this is really simple and you can use either concatenate or ampersand to combine the first and the last name. Here again I have the same data set and I'm going to use the text join function to combine these names. Now text join function is available in Excel 2019 and versions after it. So if you do not have text join, you can use the concat function. But if you have text join, here is how you combine the first and the last name. So I use the text join function. Then here I need to first specify the delimiter, which would be space in this case. Then it says whether it should ignore the empty cells or not, which in my case would be true because I want to ignore the empty cells, although I do not have it. But in case you have a huge data set with blanks, then you should select true. And then it asks for the text. Now here you do not have to select the first and the last name separately. You simply select the range that you want to combine. And here now when I close the bracket and hit enter, it gives me the full name and I can get all these names. So text join is a more convenient and better way to combine text strings in Excel. And if you have it, I would suggest you use text join. Another really cool way to combine the first and the last name would be by using flash fill functionality in Excel. Now flash fill, as I remember, was introduced in Excel 2016. Uh, what this does is it identifies the pattern while you are typing and fills the entire column with it. So in this case, let's say I want the first and the last name here. So I come here to the second cell and while I'm typing the result that I expect in the second cell, it is going to fill the entire column with what it thinks is the pattern that is being followed. And because I know that this is the right pattern, so I want to combine the first and the last name and the results I see in, in light gray is exactly what I want. I can simply hit enter. And when I do that, it fills the entire column with these. So this is really fast. You do not have to use any formula. What you get here is a static value. So this is something really, really quick. Now, in case you do not see those gray names and gray autofill kind of thing, here is what you can do. You come here, you enter the first name, come here and select this square thick green point here, which is called the fill handle. When you place your cursor over it, it would turn into a plus icon and double click on it. When you do that, you'll see that the same name is being copied. But here you have this autofill icon. And when you click on it, it shows flash fill. And now when I click on flash fill, you'll see it fills all these names just the way it was done in the first cell. Now again, as I mentioned, flash fill relies on identifying the pattern. Now this is a really simple example. But in case you have a complex example where we have the first, middle and last name or maybe prefixes and suffixes, flash fill may not be able to recognize the right pattern. So in most cases, it would do a good job. Just make sure you check the result. And if it does work for you, great. But if it doesn't, then you can always rely back on the formula methods. And the final method that I want to show you to combine the first and the last name is by using Power Query. Now, if you have a worksheet and all you want to do is combine these two names, I do not recommend you use Power Query. Instead, use Flash Fill or use the formulas because Power Query has a number of steps. Where I would recommend you use Power Query is in case you are already using it as a part of your workflow. 
For example, let's say you have 10 different work files and you want to combine those files that have the first and the last name and get one single worksheet. And then in that worksheet, you want to combine these names and get the full name. Then instead of doing it separately, you can make this as a part of your Power Query workflow. So if you're already using Power Query and you want to use this and combine the first and last name within Power Query, then I'm going to show you how to do this. So here I've converted this data into an Excel table and Power Query works best with Excel table. So it's best if you have your data in an Excel table format. Now I would select any cell within this table, go to the data tab. And here I have the from sheet option. Now, if you're using Power Query and you're seeing from table slash range option, you use that one from sheet, I believe is a newer option that has come up. Now, when I click on from sheet, it opens the Power Query editor and it is going to show me all the tables that I have and the table that I want to work with, I can choose that. So in this case, this is the table that I want to work with. It has the first name, it has the last name. Now, if I want to combine these two, all I want to do is simply select both of these columns. So I hold the control key and then select the last name, right click here and then click on merged columns. And when I click on merge columns, it is going to open the merge column dialog box here where I can specify the separator. So my separator in this case would be space and I need to give a new name to the column. Let's call this full name. And now when I click OK, it combines these names and gives me one single column. So the original data is gone and I have the full name. Now, if this is what I want, I can simply go to the file tab, click on close and load. And this is going to insert this as a new table in a new worksheet in Excel. But if you also want the original data, so you also want the first name, the last name and full name as the third column, you can do that as well. So let me delete what I've already done. So I delete this step here again. What I do is I'm going to go to the add column option and here I'm going to select both of these columns and then click on merge columns. And when I do that, instead of deleting these and putting the merged column, it is going to add additional merge column here. So I select space as the separator here instead of merge, let me put full name. And now when I click OK, it adds this column here with full name where I have the first and the last name intact. Now I can go to file, close and load. And this is going to insert a new worksheet and put the data here. So this is how you got it. Now the real benefit of Power Query is let's say in this case, I change this to let's say Pam. I think I already have Pam, but yeah, what there. So I have changed this to Pam. So this should be Pamela Baker. If I come here, I do not need to do the same steps again. And again, I can simply come here, right click, go to refresh and this data would update. So Power Query is really, really powerful, but only use it for this uh, combining of these names if you're already using Power Query. So these are four simple methods that you can use to combine the first and the last name in Excel. That's it in this video. I hope you found this useful. Also, if you're liking these videos, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and click on the bell icon so that you never miss out on any new Excel tips video I come up with. Thank you and have a nice day.